have two hands. <laughs> yes. Let me see about that. So that's the male. I'm now actually recording. Okay. Feathered antennae. His are more feathered than hers. He was the one, Ray, that Andrew found in the wood pile, brought in for Franklin to figure out what is this. And the male on the bottom that we started with has the more feathered antennae. We'll try to see the females here. I think, hopefully you can see. Hers are just barely feathered. And they, she was the one that was, no, he was the one raised inside. Right, and just put him out last night. And... Brought out last night, and lo and behold, she appeared. And that is a breeze now blowing them. But they have amazing markings, especially the body. Well, wings and body. I love the markings on the body. <laughs> The sun has been warming them. And we'll go back and look at the abdomen. Her, oops, her abdomen earlier looked bigger. Mm -hmm. It's just the egg holder. His is smaller. He just has a, a smaller job to do, shall we say. I love the colors of the red marking. And notice that the wingtips, the pale lavender brush marks. Wonder. Is it different in the size of the moons on the male and the female? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Let me get it. You can see hers on top. You want to point at them again, Daddy? Because I can see. Well, uh, this is the... Hers? Well, that's on top. We'd have to go below. But if we go underneath oh, the top... Oh, you're talking about the underside of the wing. Oh, yes. And here the underside of his. Oh, yes. His is very... Little tiny. Wow. All these subtle markings you miss that differentiate males from females or species from each other. But look, their abdomens look like wild marked caterpillars. Yes, right? no, they certainly do. And they're certainly a different size, whether that blows up the spots. Oh, right. Well, I'm going to try to put them back. Yes. You, you, yep. And well. now I'll try to pull out so people can see the full. I guess that's saw your finger, though, for perspective. So there we go.